After a few hours of trying things out and testing, as you can see right here, I've tried to write a million articles. I was going to make a video about how to use custom instructions and ChatGPT 3.5 to write an article for free. But instead of that, what I'm actually going to be doing is showing you how to use Bing Chat to write an article for free. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log in. So make sure that you are logged in and then go to Bing.com and click on the chat right here. Now, I was going to try to use 3.5, but it's just, it's not very good. Okay. 3.5 with custom instructions is not that good. However, a prompt like this is absolutely amazing on Bing. So write an SEO optimized article about, about, and then you can put whatever you want here. Include internal links to my most important brands like this. And then I gave it an actual example. Um, Cesare Attalini and Kiton. Uh, we could add more. Brunello Cuccinelli. Uh, I don't know, Marco Pescarolo, etc. Include at least two tables through the throughout the article to break up walls of text. Include a few lists to break up walls of text. You can write the article in two parts if needed for length. At the top of the article, before the second title, please include a key takeaway box or table, which will give people all the information they are looking for from this article. Now, the reason you want to be logged in is because if you're not logged in, you only have five prompts before you have to restart again. But the reason I'm doing it in Bing is because I actually saw this when I was playing around with it. So first of all, ChatGPT 3.5 with custom instructions is not that good. Okay, so you can see here, custom instructions are right here. Let's remove this. Otherwise people say, oh, it's because you had them in both, even though I've tried everything. I'm going to say write, an art write the first one third of an article about black tie attire for men. Now, I, first of all, look, that wasn't even an H, it's not even an H2 or an H1, so that's the first mistake. The other thing that this does is it just does these weird lists where it's just like title, paragraph, title, paragraph, and then one list. Like, that's just, for me, this just isn't very good, right? The next part of this article, let's see if it gives me a table, even though it clearly says, give me a bloody table. I've been trying for hours and hours and hours. Now, this one is okay, but again... No, no tables, probably a few too many lists. This is a list with just one bullet point. Like this is just bad, bad formatting. Right, the final part of this article. So yeah, basically, I would not be using ChatGPT 3.5 if I were you right now. Instead, like I said at the beginning of this article, what uh, beginning of this video, what I'd actually be doing is using Bing instead. So black tie tie for men, a guide to dressing formal. This is H1. This is H2. I love this key takeaway list at the very top. This is very, very good for capturing the featured snippet. Uh, this is not true. Black tie is semi-formal. Really? I would say it was formal, but... Black tie events are usually held in the evening and include occasions such as wedding, galas, operas, and war ceremonies. That is true. Black tie attire is meant to be elegant, sophisticated, and uniform, so avoid wearing anything too flashy, casual, or colorful, unless you're, you know, an Oscar award-winning actor. <laughs> uh, this looks great. Lots of table. A lot, lots of... Oh, yeah, we've got tables, too. So we've got lots of lists, and we've got really, really nice tables. It's still going. One thing I would like to change here is that it is still using external links to competitors. But that's something that's so easy to change. So, like, I would just put in the prompt, for example, um, do not... Oh, this is quite nice at the end here. Oh, a checklist. Interesting. Um, do not externally link to other, article, uh, other articles, but you can to Wikipedia, for example. I've never seen a checklist like this. I'm just curious if this actually is HTML or if it's just a box. Uh, it looks like it's just a box. Still pretty interesting. Pretty cool that it did that. Um, so yeah, I will leave this prompt in the description. You can see this is producing much, much better content here. Honestly, this is probably the best free way to write content right now. The last thing I want to try is the playground. I just want to see if the playground can handle this. So let's do this. Let's go on 3.5 and say, write the first one third of this article. This is paid. This is not free, but the cost is ludicrously low. Okay. Answer in markdown. 
let's start that again because uh, I didn't. I guess it doesn't say answering markdown. Although for me, it should be obvious. Right, the first one. Th actually, yeah, one third of an article about black. Oh, I already said black tie tie for men. So yes, key takeaways. Good. This is not H two though, which means the other one is probably. Oh no, it is H two. That's good. Uh, yeah, the playground handles this pretty well. Again, this is paid, but like this article alone will cost like less than one cent, to be honest with you. Still, I think the winner here is definitely Bing, as you can see. It is a little bit slow, um, but I would say Bing is the winner by far here. Let's have a look at ChatGPT. ChatGPT is already finished. Honestly, this is like by far the best article. And the, the amazing thing is that it actually searched for everything first. So you know that the SEO is good here. So for example, we can see here black tie optional is also a really, really strong keyword. White tie is also a really, really strong keyword. Let's take this article. It's, it's easily the best. Let's put it in markdown. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. I would probably personally delete these. Um, you don't have to. You can keep them if you want, but you are just giving backlinks to a competitor there. So, I mean, it doesn't probably doesn't matter that much, to be fair. But you, you can leave them or you can keep them. Now, let's just quickly check how long this article is. Docs.new. This has done a pretty good job as well. The playground with ChatGPT 3.5 has also done a pretty good job, but I, I would say by far Bing has done the best job. Now it was pretty slow, unfortunately, but 1,223 words is really, really good. Very, very good. And probably the final thing I'll do here is I'll just say, can you remove the footnotes from this article? And then just do that. And it should just very, very quickly remove the footnotes without removing anything else. Just make sure it's not removing the table. Yeah, it's just, this is why I don't like ChatGPT. Oh, custom instructions are on. That might be why. We'll give it one more chance. Remove the footnotes only from this article. Don't change anything else. Now, you can do this manually as well, obviously. Um, I'm just a bit lazy. Yeah, this is something really common that ChatGPT 3.5 does while editing. It actually removes internal links. Like, this is just so stupid. So instead, what I'm going to do is I would probably just go through this manually and just delete them one by one like this. It's going to take a bit more time. Um, you, I might actually add, I already did, don't use external uh, links or footnotes. That's a good point. So yeah, I will leave this uh, beautiful prompt that works incredibly well on Bing in the description. Do not use external links or footnotes okay now this is i would say the perfect prompt to write a very very quick article i use creative you can use balanced if you want but yeah the quality here is amazing it's longer and it actually does the seo keyword research for you as well which is amazing and it does say here the second part will be generated in the next term which means it will be even longer this time Thank you so much for watching, guys. I just wanted to compare the very the, the cheap options or the free options for creating content. I would say it goes Bing and then the Playground and then ChatGPT with custom instructions, to be honest with you. However, if you've got ChatGPT 4, custom instructions are amazing, okay? It's just ChatGPT 3.5 doesn't understand SEO formatting very well, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.